It's Lego day in the Retro Tech Repair Shop. I have a tractor unit, a battery pack, and a lead. Surely this should be a simple repair. Let's find out. So we have a vintage Lego motor set. 40 not working from eBay, cost me £10.90 plus £4.10 postage and packaging. What can I tell you about this? It just says vintage Lego motor set, 40 plus many other Lego parts. Condition is used. Please note it is not working. Had one of these as a child. Um, fantastic fun playing with this. When I was a kid, I uh, used to use it not just for the Lego, but I used to connect it to buy Meccano systems um, and use it as a drive motor. I remember this plate fits on here and I remember putting the battery pack on the where it is you built and driving it along. So it's really nice condition actually, much better than the one I had all those years ago. Battery pack looks in good condition externally. Uh, there's lots of accessories and wheels and bits and pieces. So, not working. Right, well there's only three bits to this. Tractor unit, the battery pack and the connection lead. So let's put some batteries, open this up, put some batteries in it and we'll put it all together and see what happens. So what we're gonna find in here, is it a leaky battery pack? No, it's not. Actually, it's absolutely clean. Look at that. I think these must be C-type batteries. So let's get some of them. Try it out. I brought in some test equipment. Ready? Let's first put some batteries in. Okay, we we'll put the top back on for now. Oh yeah, there's the forward and reverse switch. I remember now when the midpoint was off. So let's just check we've got voltage coming out. Put the test meter on to volts DC. And let's see what we've got. Got 4.6 volts, the middle is off there. Well, let's connect the tractor unit up first and see what happens. Okay, so this is forward, and that was giving us full volts. Okay, so there's nothing there at all. Right. So let's measure the voltage getting through to here first. Nothing at all. Okay. Nope. Nothing getting there at all. Okay, right. Let's, let's use the bench power supply. Okay, we'll just show that it is 4.1 volts, 4.142. So what we'll do is we we'll just touch the probes down onto the motor connections. Ooh. Okay, let's turn you, in fact there's connections on the end as well. running okay so the big question is why do we get anything out of this battery pack nothing at all coming out of the battery pack we have got 4.3 volts. So, a problem with this cable. 
So I've put some to ohms. I don't want to make any noise. Okay. Just show the continuity on the cables. That one's fine. Let's go on the other one. Nothing. Okay, so we've got I've got a problem with this cable as well. So I wonder if somebody has just stuck the wires down the end and hasn't actually electrically connected it up. So I'm going to remake this cable off. Right. We might just have had a broken core, but let's just Check the continuity on the cable. We've got no continuity on that cable. Okay, so we've got a break somewhere in the cable. What I'm going to do is going to snip this back to where the cables are actually joined together. Um, so the flexing. And we'll try it again. We'll strip the ends back and try it again. Right, let's check it again. Check the meter first. It's working. That cable, nothing. So we've got continuity on that one. And we should be this one. Okay, so we obviously had a break broken cable right at the end. Broken core. So, so there's a breakage in, in this part. So let's remake these ends off. And then go back to trying the battery pack again. Okay, that's the cable we made off. So let's just do a continuity check on that cable. Good. Right, so the lead is okay now. So let's try this battery pack out directly on here. These are a bit, I'm opening these up a little bit, a little bit loose. Okay, it's in mid position. Let's turn it over, Let's see if it's gonna, right. I'm gonna try some different wheels on it just because I can. Okay. Again, we have bits of, a bit of a wobble on some of these, but... Okay, it's looking good. Let's try these connections. Um, on this one down here. Check that out. Finally, the electrical connections on the end. So that's 4.3 and negative. So it's working really nicely. The motor sounds good. But I'm going to take this off, take this apart, find out what we've got in here. Okay, let's strip you down and have a look. So 
that's all there is to it. So we have a four volt made in Germany motor, commutator in there. It looks like this is just held in as a little interference fit. Electrical pickups are on the sides and they connect to these little lugs here. Um, also, there's a connection here and here on these back surfaces. So we'll clean those up in a minute. Probably going to re-grease these as well. Condition-wise, it's, it's lovely. It's really well, nicely made, actually. And I can see in there in the motor brushes, everything looks absolutely fine. Little spring loaded brushes in there. Commutator looks clean. I'll give it some electrical solvent cleaning just through the motor, just to give it a quick brush out. And I'll want to clean up these surfaces as well. Yeah, there's nothing dirty coming out of that at all. It's all very clean in there, it really is clean. This set doesn't look like it's been played with much, it really doesn't. Maybe there's just a bad connection on the cable and they stopped using it very early on. Even these are pretty clean. Some slight marking on them, but nothing at the point at which it makes the uh, electrical connection. So it's actually using the whole of this metal, this cast frame for its electrical connection. So that's one side and that's the other side, positive and negative. Right, I'm just going to give this a very, it's plastic gearing, so I'm, I'm just going to give it a little bit of light machine oil. It'll just work its way through the gears. There we go, right. I'll just run it for a while. I don't want oil spewing out everywhere. Can't be a much more of a simpler repair than uh, this, to be fair. So, it turns out to be a, a bit of an eBay bargain because these are quite a lot of money, a full set like this. Okay, let's rebuild you as the tractor unit. I'm just going to sit here and continue playing, uh, testing this unit now. Hope you found this episode useful. Thanks for watching.